morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Today I have a day off. When the 4th of July is on a Sunday, you get Monday off at our work. And if it's on a Saturday, you get Friday off. So today is actually for us, you guys are seeing this on the 6th, but it's a day off for me. And we slept in because poor Sally girl, you guys, we had an enormous fireworks around the neighborhood. And we have two little boys across the street whose mom and dad put on a wonderful little fireworks show for them right outside our house in the street. And Sally was beside herself and we didn't get to go to sleep until about 1 a.m. Yeah. So I am in my moo moo, please excuse. And yes, my arms are all icky bicky, but I'm comfortable and I am enjoying my day off with my husband, yes indeed. So you guys, before we get started, we are doing a jump into July for weight loss challenge. And today, you are seeing this on Tuesday, it's a 16 hour fast or eight hour eating window. Eat two meals and take a walk. So one thing that I have been craving during the protein sparing modified fast days is a gravy or a sauce that works well with are protein sparing modified fast. I noticed um, there were a few viewers that are having the same issue. Yes, you can have mustard, absolutely. And the Primal brand um, products, like their vinaigrettes and this uh, no dairy buffalo sauce with cashew butter and avocado oil, is pretty protein sparing modified fast uh, equivalent, but you don't get that much. Uh, for one tablespoon, it's 35 calories. You get 3.5 grams of fat, one carbohydrate. So what I thought was, and it's got great information. So if you guys got their vinegar or their balsamic vinegar, um, and you added just a teeny weeny bit of gar gum or xanthan gum and mixed it up and, and worked it into that 30 grams of fat, ceiling or the 10 total grams of carb ceiling for your protein modified fast day, you guys can use it. So before I go into the board I'm making and I want to get it, I'm, I thought, well, why can't I do that with the beef soup base from Keto Chop? Because I made that delicious chicken savory soup with the canned chicken breast and it was delicious. So I'm going to pre-make some of the beef soup base. I have uh, very warm water in a keto chow shaker. Because we, I cooked a pork loin and pork loin can be a little bit, um, any meat for me, if I'm just eating the meat part, can just be a little bit, um, I don't wanna say, it's just too dry for me. You wanna be careful. Then I go ahead and add my cold in here. It's hard for me to snap those things. The more water you get, the pressure builds up for... Um... So what I wanna do is I wanna let this set up. Now I gotta get the keto chow off the lid. That was my fault. When you're dealing, I, had, I put too hot of water and the water pressure builds up with hot. Just remember that so when you shake it, it can get explosive. It's just like in your um, blender when you're mixing it up. So I'm gonna put this back in the keto chow jar. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I want my gravy and I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, liquid smoke, paprika, liquid smoke, just a little bit. I am gonna put a little bit of garlic in this. Just a little bit. You wanna come close here? I don't know how close you can get to that. Get a little bit of onion. Keto Chow already has Redmond, it already has salt in it. So let me put just a little bit of onion. And 
And I'm gonna put, hmm, I'm gonna put some of this poultry seasoning in it. I know that it's pork, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of poultry seasoning in it just to give it mm, some deliciousness. And I'm gonna shake that up gently. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. And I'm gonna let this thicken up. And then when tonight, there. It has cooler water in it now, so it's not as apt to have that air pressure build up. So tonight, I'm gonna check this and use this. And if I need to thicken it up a little bit or adjust the taste tonight to pour over, my um, pork loin that's what I'm gonna use you guys so um, you guys can use this as a gravy as a sauce as a base and get that wonderful delicious flavor and because I'm not using any fat I only have to worry about the carbs the whole that whole container that I just made only has six grams of carbs, that whole container. We're not using that much for gravy. Oops. Sorry. We're not using, Harry's using his new birthday present he got. I wish I could show a picture of it. Can you show, can Get you show? Camera. Huh? It's your phone. Okay, I was gonna say go into the bathroom and look in the mirror with that and show people what it looks like. He got a new gimbal along with this his KitchenAid mixer that's coming today in red, of course. Oh, and he's wearing his new shorts, so he's just he's just accumulating stuff. Well, I constantly so. I've always bought equipment. Well, I know, I, mean, I know. Shoot, so let me get a picture of it. Let me get my phone. Hundreds of thousands of dollars on it. He's using it. Okay, we had our um, Maria Emmerich's chocolate pudding made with the egg whites. Um, we just broke our fast, and you guys. I found to get the egg smell off of them, once I take the egg yolk out, I rinse them really, really good, clean them off really, really good with cold water, pat them all dry, and then put them in the blender. I don't get any sulfur or egg taste at all. And some of you guys said cook the egg white separately. Well, my concern is when you boil an egg, that's the closest to the complete taste without adding anything I'm wondering if there's a way to pour it into a pan and bake it because the consistency you want that consistency too if you fry it you're gonna get a crispy part to it which isn't gonna break down at least I'm in my head that's what I'm thinking but tell me if you've cooked egg whites separate so that you can use the egg yolks raw in different recipes and let me know how you cooked it and how it tasted i don't want to add any oils or sprays i want it to be as plain egg white in its purest form when i cook the pudding in order not to get any egg taste whatsoever so i'm wondering if i could cook it in an egg bath like oh that's what i can do i'm going to make it with egg whites in an egg in a water bath in the oven in a silicon pan to see if it tastes the same and I'll do that the challenge is it's so hot here you guys it's in the hundreds and nines seven sixes tens um, and I don't want my whole oven hot but I bet that would work the best and would give you the best flavor other than trying to poach liquid eggs which I don't think you could it's the same principle you're cooking it in a water bath in the oven in a container that's silicon so you don't have to spray it with any oil sprays whatsoever that's what I would do yes indeed okay so going back to everything so I've got my um, beef broth in the refrigerator to use for tonight for our pork sirloin that I cooked. I have got some other things out that I'm thinking about making. I've got chicken wings here I've pulled out. I've got a turkey, a ground turkey breast, which is 99% lean, 1% fat, and 90% pork. And I'm going to combine these two and do something with them tomorrow on our um, 
protein sparing modified fast too. And I'm going to incorporate something that's gonna give us a gravy or a sauce so that it gives us that richness that I like with my meat. Because yesterday I had like 13 ounces of chicken. I think it was 13, we'll look at the big bowl. And it was very hard because it was a lot of meat and dense texture and I like sauces. So I had some buffalo sauce and then I used some mustard, horseradish mustard to finish it off with. Anyway, you guys, oh, here's what I had, absolutely. I had 13 ounces chicken breast yesterday, two ounces top sirloin to get my um, protein in, two tablespoons of the buffalo primal sauce. We had strawberry keto chow ice cream last night with a very teeny weeny bit of oil, and we had chocolate egg, egg white pudding for a breakfast, three tablespoons super creamer, one scoop collagen, you guys. 6% carbs for a total of 11 grams. 32% fat for a total of 25, so I was up by one gram of carbs, so I'm not worried. My protein was still a little low, 62% protein for a total of 110 grams, and I only had 833 grams, 833 calories, but eating 13 ounces of chicken breast was pretty hard for me to do, you guys. It really was. It was hard, so I've gotta work on that gotta work on that but you guys i didn't go up or down i stayed at 177 but you guys harry is just dropping dropping like a rock i'm so proud of him eight tenths of a pound down look at this you guys he has 2.2 pounds left to go to get back down to his all-time new low you guys that is absolutely awesome awesome so i'm very excited about that i really am so he had 3.5 ounces pork loin 10 ounces chicken breast strawberry keto chow ice cream we split uh two packages of strawberry keto chow ice cream with just a tad of oil in it between three people mom came over and had that we had a scoop of collagen three tablespoons key two creamer and he had chocolate egg pudding too for his breakfast, he had 4% carbs for a total of nine grams, 34% fat for a total of 32 grams, a little bit more because he had different meat than I did. He had the pork loin, 62% protein for a total of 131 grams. His protein was a little low and his calories were a little low, 877, but we were both sitting there going, oh my gosh, I don't think I could eat another oh bit of meat. I was so full. It was meat being so full, and then you don't get hungry afterwards. I mean, you really aren't hungry when you eat that much protein. It's very difficult to do, but it's working, and we're so excited about it. Now, Harry, do you trust me using that when you go to the big board? Yeah, you're just going to have to. What do I have to do? You're using a finger thing. Here, let me take no, a picture. No, no. Actually, you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, well, let me let me take a picture of it so we can show people. So he's all excited. I got shoes. He got his gimbal. It's not my birthday, but I'm helping him celebrate. Here, I'm going to go to video. I'm going to video it. Well, yeah, come all the way around. Walk on. forward, Harry. Now... Let me, let me get. I'm going to follow her look. <laughs> so you can see this. This is, this is for the microphone. Yes. But all this, it keeps the phone. See what it does? That keeps the phone basically level. So Wendy's I mean, not uh, making messes of pictures. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So you just got to learn. It's, it's, I have another one that I used for phones and another one. but uh, This one, can they get this on Amazon? Yes, yeah, you can. can. I think Do you, you have can a link. Get this on Amazon, That's right? where I got it from for yeah, you. Yeah. Why don't you Amazon. put the link below on Amazon in case? There's no room, Wendy. Oh. There's no room for me. I'm sorry. There's no room. Let me look at this. What are these? What? Well, these are just all the controls. So you know, I mean, each one's different. Dueling cameras. Okay. So. But you can see what it does. See, it kind of makes the camera float. You know. You just got to get with it. Okay, let me use it on you I'm on the big right board. Straight. See what it does? It keeps the camera. So when Wendy's moving all over the place. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Uh, you just got to just keep your hands off of that. 
and just kind of turn the handle where you want it to go. Like okay, this. I will. See? Like okay. It does. And then if you want to go in close, you can kind of go in close. You just got to be very slow with it. Okay. Trade yeah. places. See what it does. See. My turn. Yep, yeah, floats. Here. Ooh, it's heavy. Yeah, see, turn the handle like this. Turn, I got it. Turn the handle. I don't want. See how it follows? Where you point? Okay. It. See? Yep, let's go to the big board. <laughs> how you doing, Harry? <laughs> Playing with your new toy. Yes, indeed. It's, uh, it's not exactly a toy, but yeah. yeah. I'm just calling it a toy. Yeah. Your your uh, KitchenAid is not a toy either, but it's going to make you delicious dinners, desserts, and breads. Doesn't that force you to look at the camera? Yes, it so does. Pointing? Yes, it does. Let's go to the big board, Mr. Cameraman. Uh, so, yeah, I went down eight tenths of a pound. And when you stayed the same... She's been the same. She does this. She'll yes. be the same. Like what? Look, it's one, two, three days. She's been the same. Well, for me to drop one and four tenths pounds is huge. So I just, my body just takes. Yeah, that was way over here. That yep, was here. that was Saturday, and it takes a it's little there. while for it to calm down. All right. And this then, camera's floating. Yeah, you got. That's why it forces you to watch it. So, which is I like with you. Hey, hey. So, <laughs> be nice. But you can. But you know, here, here's the deal, though. Now that we've switched the way we're eating, I'm noticing now that the calories... Well, think about it. We were at 1,300 calories, and you went down, and I stayed the same. And then we went to 800 and under 900 calories, and I stayed the same, and you went down again. Right. So seriously, that's awesome. Yeah, and I, I see a big change because um, we're not eating that fat. Yep, I do too. And I'm full. I wake up full. I feel full. I mean, here, want to take this? Yeah. Last night before we went to bed, because it was like 1 a.m. and Harry was getting hungry, and I'm like, honey, you can't have that. Have something hot to drink because we were waiting for Sally. I said, I feel like I'm losing weight. Now, I didn't drop water weight today. I also didn't. My intestines haven't moved yet either, and I know that's a switch to the protein, sparing modified fast, less fat. Make sure you're drinking your water more so that you give that water to your intestines so it pushes things through. Because you could have a temporary change in your intestines um, and your bowel movements uh, when you change and you eat more protein, especially the protein sparing modified fast days because you're eating lean protein. So just make sure you guys are drinking your water and your electrolytes. A lot of us are having leg cramps. I make sure Harry and I are, are uh, using our electrolytes. Don't be afraid to take two in a day. It's not going to hurt you, you guys. So it's only going to help. Anyway, I'm excited about my... Um, my keto chow. Look at all the eggs in there. Yeah, let, let me show the eggs. I gotta show the eggs. Look at all these eggs. Oh, oh well, wait, but wait, there's more. Look in here. I know. Then, oh yeah, then, the, oh yeah, show them those bags of eggs because you were talking about them earlier. I got the Hickman's eggs. Yeah. And how many eggs are in there? Ten they're, for two ninety nine. They're pilled and they're bagged. $2 individual $2 servings. Two ninety nine, man. Can yeah. you believe that you get ten eggs already pilled? Are they for two ninety nine? And what does a standard Costco was more expensive? Uh, what, what does a standard of uh, Wait a minute. These were more expensive. These are sixteen two packs. Well, no, I guess they weren't because you have two, four, yeah, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. But it was nine bucks. Yeah, that's true. So these are going to work with me. Yeah, those are more. These are staples. You can just grab them. And then these, once I get done with these Hickman eggs, I'm going to experiment with cooking um, egg whites in a silicon dish, in, an, in a water bath in the oven so that I can keep the raw egg yolks and use them for hollandaise sauce or um, mayonnaise or other things like that. So Somebody I've been- said that this morning. Yes, I've been reading all the comments on our Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans 
Facebook group. We have a great group. It's free for you guys to join. Here's the link. Please go there and join, especially during this challenge. There are so many people talking about it, making recipes, experimenting with the bread. There's all kinds of tips and tricks on there. We have a great group of people, you guys. That's a wonderful place to go. And don't forget, you know, if you guys are um, vegetarian and you guys are also doing this because we have several vegetarians that are doing that, try that egg white protein bread and tell me what you think. Yes, indeed. You can make a really nice, um, you could put a, a basil and tomato and, and mozzarella and put it on toasted um, toast and put a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar at, on that, like a primal or something, and then grill that, make a panini out of that. Ooh, that would be good on a regular keto day or one of our regular fasting days. Yes, indeed, that would. Yes, indeed. I can't wait because I'm going to make um, open face sandwiches on protein sparing modified fast days. When Harry and I were growing up on the menus on American food, regular diner menus, they had open face, hot roast beef and hot chicken sandwiches. Yep. It was two slices of white bread with your turkey or roast beef and they knew their chicken gravy on it. Or roast beef gravy and I thought what better way to use my uh, keto chow savory flavors my egg white bread and my meat for the day so I cannot wait to get my bread going so that I can make those on a protein sparing modified fast day yes indeed doesn't take much gravy won't use many carbs there's no fat in the keto chow gravy it's boom 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 if you don't have keto chow please you, if you want to get some go down on the link below and go to our regular keto chow link you get 10 percent off if you can't do that or you don't want to do that get some kettle and fire fat free chicken bone broth and use it with a little bit of xanthan or gargan to thicken it and make yourself some gravy for your protein sparing modified fast days. Yes, indeed, you guys. So there's lots of ways to do it where we're not eating just dry meat and that's what I don't want to do. So I'm gonna do some protein spared modified fast gravies for you guys and sauces so you guys can see how we're gonna be eating ours. That thing's kind of scary when it comes up. It's like floating in space. I know, it kind of looks like something you see in a doctor's office. Floating in space. So anyway, you guys, if we're hanging in the house today, I'm keeping my mumu on. If we go out and decide to go shopping or something like that, I'm doing a lot of reading today. I'm catching up on videos. I am absorbing uh, Maria Emmerich's, uh, Emmerich's uh, books that I have of hers. And Karen, thank you so much, my friend Karen. She said you have the push and the option to click on the ebook and get it bound, and it's a third less cost to get it in the bound version than to take it yourself to Kinko's or someplace like that and get it bound. So if you want it that way, do it that way. Um, I have a three ring binder when I print out recipes on an eight and a half by 11 sheet and I just three hole punch it and stick it in the binder. But I like having the books to refer to because I'm going to be cooking from her books. And I'm, you guys know me. I don't use recipe books that often. I kind of do it Wendy's way, but she's got some really good and I, I can read a recipe like my friend Shelly can do this too. Taste the ingredients as I'm reading it. And Karen, you might be able to do this too. But it's like, okay, but if I add just a little bit of this or a little bit of that, and then I add it to taste it as I go along. So um, start out with a really good recipe from her book and make it Wendy's way. Anyway, you guys, I've been doing a lot of chit chatting this morning. So we will see you guys in the next segment. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, I have three eggs for Harry, two eggs for me. They're the Hickman grass-fed eggs. They're large eggs. They're not jumbo. And then I've got Harry measured out the rest of our steak. This is a 10-ounce piece for Harry of sirloin, very lean top sirloin, which is delicious. And I have a 7-ounce one for me. 
and we're having that and then um tonight we're having our pork loin and i'll share that with the gravy you guys but let's get this cooked got our steak just warmed we want our steak medium rare so rewarming it we just like to get the um any fats and just tenderizes it just a little bit i'm gonna put a little bit of salt on here while the eggs are cooking we can dip this into the egg yolk and it'll be delicious huh harry yep. hickman farm here in arizona had a huge fire and it it burned down some of their chicken um industry and killed a yeah, lot of their chickens like, 150,000 chickens yeah. which is so sad i think it's sad that any they had a big barbecue that night no they didn't harry be nice be nice anyway you guys i want just the yolks to just get coated because we'll have nice yolks to dip our steak in Ooh, i love that mm -mm -mm. okay here we go i get two I used one table, less than a tablespoon of butter for all these eggs to cook in. So they may be a little bit sticky to get out. We'll see. When, when you get a little bit more, there's my yolk. This one broke underneath. Ooh, nice. In the pan, see there's no real, no butter left hardly. Yeah. The eggs just absorbed it. You guys, I'm gonna put some pepper on the eggs, fresh ground pepper. I love pepper. Harry loves pepper. Redmond's real salt. And then some dulce or dulce. We have just a little bit left in this jar. Harry accidentally broke the jar when he was trying to get the little... Well, it's not a jar, it was that little... This that little thing. thing. That thing on top. What she's doing right now is how I broke it. Yeah, he broke the whole top, so I don't have my work. mic on again, but you know. Anyway, you guys, this has... 220% iodine, has a little iron. Less than one carb, it's a teaspoon, and we don't use a teaspoon. And it just makes it, give it a little nice nutty flavor. It does not taste seaweed or sea oceany at all. Really good source of iodine. Anyway, you guys, that's it. Steak and eggs for breakfast. Besides, we just had our pudding. But we're hungry because we stayed up till 1 a.m. Yeah, well, later than that. Actually. Woke up this morning and was like, what is our fasting today? 16 hours. We got that out of the way right away. Right. We actually ate our, um, yesterday was the fourth for us. So we ate our meal at 2.30 yesterday, you guys. So, um, and we had our ice cream at 4. So we were done at 4. So that worked really well for today because we woke up hungry and I think that's because we stayed up till 1 a.m. and got up at 8 o'clock this morning. So anyway, you guys, we're going to eat this. This looks delicious. We'll come back in the next segment, everybody. <gasps> you guys, I just got an Amazon delivery, so I want to share it because I got it for the protein modified, protein sparing modified fast days. Don't get too close. I get dangerous with... With sharp just, objects, I get dangerous. Knives and scissors and stuff do not get along well. Hey, I don't hey. have my mic on again. Let's see what I bought. Oh, I'm excited. So, I bought more isolated, I bought vanilla flavored whey uh, protein isolate. This J-Rob is the uh, brand that Maria Emrek works uh uses i'm using this when i make your delicious angel food cake for your Ooh, birthday yeah. that's what i'm using and then i'm gonna put some well, other flavors in it do a trial run no it. it's gonna be a surprise no 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 i got some um allulose there's some recipes that keto chow has that uses allulose and so does maria emrick well, so i've got allulose can we have allulose absolutely because they use it in uh keto chow already and then i got 
a bigger bag of Swerve Confectioner Sugar. Again, for the things that I'm going to be making on the Protein Sparing Modified Fast Day and for my other recipes that I use uh, my Keto Chop for too. And for frosting for Harry's Angel Food Cake that I'm going to make him some cream cheese butter, cream cheese frosting, yes indeed. And the rest is bubbles. They sent us lots of bubble packing, Harry. Here we go. Anyway, you guys, I'm excited, but you know what I'm excited about? I'm reading all the books and Wendy's brain starts creating recipes. Harry said, well, do you think we could take egg whites, you know, hard boiled egg whites, and instead of putting the cocoa powder in it, we could put some keto chow in it. And then you get the keto chow protein, the sweetener from it and everything, plus the eggs. And that would make like a, a keto chow uh, protein sparing modified fast custard. And I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I have tons right now. Lots of hard boiled eggs. And what I think I'm going to do, now I can do it two ways, Harry. I was thinking of a lemon one. Should I make a lemon one? Mm. Or should, yeah, I think I was going to use the lemon. Let's do a lemon and make a lemon, a lemon mousse yeah, make with a keto lemon. chow. Yeah, make a lemon. That's what I thought. I got to get another big lemon. Well, you need to use one that you don't have to open up a spoon. Right, one. that's why I have this one because tablespoons are going to be what I'm going to use for this. I've got to figure out how much a tablespoon I've got to measure how much a tablespoon is, um, how many, how many um, grams, right. so I can get a recipe. But you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peel, I'm going to cut open and remove the egg yolk, and then I'm going to rinse my egg whites really well with cold water and pat them all dry, and then we'll come back to finish the recipe. And I hope it works. Fingers crossed. See you guys real soon. Let me get these done. Okay, I'm going to try to make an egg white keto chow pudding for my modified fasting oh, days. So that's all eggs. So this is 10 egg shells. If you look at them, I've cleaned them out really well and then I rinse them in cold water just to get all the scent and smell, that, that little bit of sulfur, eggy smell yeah. off of them. And here's all the yolks that I have left. So I have got one ounce, I'm doing this with one ounce of lemon meringue keto chow. Now remember you guys, this is an experiment. I'm experimenting with this. So I'm going to put in my, um, you can use almond milk or you can use cashew milk. I'm using one whole cup of cashew milk. I can't use almond milk. It inflames me. Yeah. So that's the rest of it. Just has just a little bit more than a, and then a cup, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me put this in here, over here. And I'm gonna get this just in case I need something more uh, liquid. Now, keto chow is sweetened. So I'm gonna put in some stevia lemon drops that I use when I make the ice cream, when I use any of the keto chow lemon, just to give it a little bit more sweet. Um, and I'm gonna use, this is, comes out in a half drop, half dropper full. Let me shake it really well. And I'm gonna try to use a whole dropper full. So the equivalent of a whole dropper, these are liquid sweet drops. I get this from several different places. You can get this on Amazon. I have some Capella Lemon Sicily drops. I'm going to put 10 in to start. Okay. And then I'm going to put the Keto Chow in, put the lid on, and blend it up, and let's see what happens. This is an experiment. to blend it really 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 good because you want it pudding consistency 
velvety smooth. You want the egg whites to be totally chopped up and crushed. I'm going to put in some allulose, powdered allulose. I'm going to put in a teaspoon. Because we eat with our eyes, we want it to be pleasant. We want a little bit more yellow tone and color to it. Let me see. Here, I taste this. Ooh, that's, that's really good. Isn't that good? That oh. is really good, you guys. That turned out really, really well. It's just a delicious, another way and here's the deal. Oh here, man, that really tastes good. It's good. God, there's an aftertaste there too. That of of so lemon good. at the end. Yeah, really so, good. Now we gotta wait till tomorrow, right? Well, you don't have to. We can, it's 1.30, so we can have these tonight. I'm gonna make mom. You gotta make your mother one. I'm gonna give her a little bit. Yeah. Because right. we're not having ice cream. But look how thick this is, you guys, and how nice this is. So if you're wondering how to get more protein in when you're doing your keto chow, this is absolutely the right way to do it. And you can use the same principle for, and if you don't have allulose, use monk fruit, use swerve, use erythritol, whatever sweetener you have on hand, okay? The nice thing about allulose is it's sweet like sugar. Your body can't, it just processes it right through your body. It's like a fiber unsoluble fiber that we just pass right through our intestines and out the door out the back door man oh this this did a lot yeah i know it did a, that's what i'm saying puffed it up it did what if the lemon did that i don't know so it does that to the ice the cream. lemon does make a, a f f fluffier ice cream. I need a different spatula because this spatula. Oh, where's the big, where's the good one? I need my tongue spatula. You want to lick this, Harry? Sure. Well, I get a different spatula. Here's a better spatula. I'm sure the longer you chill it, the more the flavors will meld and come out just like with keto chow, you guys. But this is really good. <laughs> so good. And I'm just using my regular tumbler glasses to put it in. You guys can get really fancy. If you have somebody coming over, you could layer this with a layer of sweetened cream cheese. You could layer this with a layer of, um, you know, artificially sweetened whipped cream. You can put whipped cream on top. There's all kinds of things you can do with this, you guys. But I'm excited. I am so excited. Got it on my knuckles, sorry. But you guys, lemon keto chow pudding. And if children have a consistency issue or you don't like egg custard, keto chow egg custard, this is an alternative. This is very moussey chiffon silky smooth mousse and this is an awesome way to get extra protein in in your diet you guys look at these Woo! god that looks good doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it you know it tastes better than it looks oh yeah that's the thing lemon keto chow egg white 
pudding yum i'm excited oh, yeah, yeah. Hey you guys, we just got back from Sprouts. My glasses are fogging. It is humid, sultry, over 100 degrees. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out there. I can't believe it. But I bought three boxes of the Pacific uh, cashew milk and I bought one co organic coconut unsweetened. You guys, I wanna make some pina colada with the coconut milk egg white pudding. <laughs> but look what we found. Zevia has, it's called creamy, right here, creamy root beer. It's different than their ginger root beer. I've seen good reviews on it, so we're going to give that a try. I also found Mountain Zevia, which is their rendition of Mountain Dew. And Strawberry, which is something, these are new to us, so I thought I would share them with everybody. But you guys... I think we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. Harry and I were talking, it's already after two. We try to eat by four, there's no way we're gonna be no, hungry right. enough to eat the pork loin today. So I think what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna have the lemon keto chow egg white mousse that I made for dinner. Everybody's gonna have that for dinner. That's gonna be our dinner, you guys. I'll figure out the macros because we're full. Oh man, am I full. I am very full. So that is what I think we're doing tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and close out this video, you guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here. But before we leave, don't forget, tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast day. Move your body, you guys. I've got to still prep this meat right here. Yes, indeed. So either prep it or stick it in the, oops, I think I'll stick it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. And that's what we're having for tomorrow. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone.